What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com, back again with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, May 5th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. And the big one, sign up for the lineup generator. You see it on the banner at the top of the screen. Now, click the link in the description of this video. You can get our lineup generator for less than five bucks for your first week. What we do is create thousands of lineups behind the scenes. And then we get rid of everything that we don't think is valuable. We present the rest to you. Click save if you like it, click discard. You get another one right in front of your face. You can have chalky lineups, balanced lineups, contrarian lineups. You could lock a player in. You could swap players around. You could export up to 20 lineups via CSV. If you are trying to improve your DFS play, this is the place to start. And it'll cost you less than five bucks for your first week to do it. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Tyrese Maxey, Derek White, DeAnthony Melton, Tobias Harris, and Marcus Smart on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. In first at number five, we've got Jamal Murray. He's point guard only, 7,900, projected for 43 and a half. The goal is 41 and a half, and he is in the optimal lineup 38% of the time. 39 minutes here for Jamal Murray. Could play a minute or two extra if it's competitive. We know what the Nuggets rotation looks like at this point. So 1.1 fantasy points per minute, 24 points, six and a half assists, five boards on 28% usage, plus a stock and a half. It's Jamal Murray. We know what the ceiling looks like and we know what the minutes look like. He's going to be out there and, you know, you're looking for... 45 fantasy points to feel really good. If he hits 40, you're you're happy with the decision that you made. We just know what we're doing with Murray. It, it's really difficult to talk about the Nuggets, guys, because there's not a lot of ambiguity at this point. Really love the idea of getting to James Harden today at number four. Point guard only, but 8,700. Projected for 48, the goal is 45. He's in the optimal lineup 40% of the time. I think Harden's playing 40 minutes in a competitive matchup here. We're going back to Philly. Embiid getting his MVP award. 1.2 fantasy points per minute for Harden. 20 points, 10 assists. So we're staring at a double-double. Six and a half boards as well, plus a stock and a half. It's a massive game here. Going up 2-1 at home would be big time for Philly. They didn't look good in game two. I think they rebound a bit here in game three. This one should be competitive. And if that's the case... 8,700 is too cheap for James Harden. In at number three, we've got Devin Booker. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 9,500. Projected for 54. The goal is 49 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 43% of the time. I went 42 minutes to Booker. We know that he and Durant are going to play big minutes, probably around 44 in a very competitive game. But you have to be aware of the situations where maybe the Suns dominate doubtful but maybe they do maybe the nuggets dominate and these guys don't get to 44 so i think 42 is pretty realistic if you want to go to 43 i think that's fine too 1.25 fantasy points per minute here for booker no chris paul probably gonna have to run the point a little bit more they're gonna make some changes today it's gonna get a little weird but we know that's not really changing anything for book 31 percent usage 33 points six assists five boards and a stock and a half massive ceiling here for booker if the Suns want to keep their season alive, it has to happen today. Back to Phoenix for this game. Can they do it? I don't know. But at 9,500 with an MPE, I'm certainly going to die finding out with Devin Booker in my lineups. Aaron Gordon is in at number two. Power forward only, 6K. Projected for 32. The goal is 32. He's in the optimal lineup 44% of the time. Really easy to want to get to Aaron Gordon here. 37 minutes, could play more, just out there a ton. The rates are down in the playoffs. He's like a .85 guy now, but the minutes are up significantly. He really, there's no situation where he's played off the court. Plus, going to get a steady diet of Kevin Durant. 18% usage, 15.5 points, 7.5 boards, 3 assists, maybe a steal, maybe a block. I love the minutes for Gordon. I think he should have an MPE. It's kind of annoying that he doesn't, but even without it, he can still get to the number two spot. 6K, that price tag works. $4.48 for the lineup generator, so long as you scan the QR code or click the link in the description. My number one contender for today is actually DeAndre Ayton. Tied with Aaron Gordon, but still, number one spot. Center only, 6,500, projected 36, goals 34, optimal lineup 44% of the time. Look, if Phoenix wants to win, I think they need a bigger day out of eight, and especially with no Chris Paul. 34 minutes, 20% usage, 17 points, 11 boards, two assists, and a stock and a half. I don't think that they're going to win if they don't get a decent day out of Aiton. They're running out of options. 
And in 34 minutes, DeAndre Ayton's a fantasy point per minute guy. This will fit. Now, if Nicole, like, the fact that you can play more than one center is what saves you here. Because if one of Embiid or Jokic goes crazy, you can still get there with DeAndre Ayton. And I think the price tag works. I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility that he plays more minutes than 34. So I don't think anybody's going to love it. But DeAndre Ayton is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, May 5th. FanDuel version is around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight. Everybody win that money. We're back again on Monday morning for another edition of The Contenders.